Hello, this is Ryan with Nameless Synthetic Lifeforms, and this is a preview and quick tutorial for NSL Easy Interiors, which is an interior layout tool for Unity. We can open Easy Interiors under the Window menu, and we have several options for floor plan sizes. These are all in Unity units, so let's start with a 50 by 50 floor plan. So the first step in creating our new floor plan is adding the walls. So here in the mode selection we're going to select walls which is selected by default and left clicking will place a wall and right clicking will remove it easy enough. So I like to start by sort of framing out the overall interior first. Clicking the middle mouse button will rotate the wall or we have a rotate button down here in the lower left and you can click and drag any piece. So I'm just going to make a very simple again right click to remove building layout to give us an idea of how this all gets put together. Okay, once you've got everything framed out we have a few different options for joining walls. So here for example I'll use this cross piece and here I'm going to use this Tetris looking T to make connections uh, on straight walls. So I'll just right click to remove that wall section and left click to put in my T. Do the same thing over here. Now I'm ready to connect these up. And now I'll use the corner piece here. Okay, now that we have this framed out, we can add some doors and windows. We also have the ability to add stairs. I'm going to cover that in a later tutorial. So here, I'm going to select my door piece on the left. And again, I can rotate that to determine which way uh, I'd like the door jam to face. And again, right click to remove a piece and we'll stick the door in its place. And place a door here so we can get around. By the way, you can also hold down the middle mouse button to drag around your floor plan editor. And now we'll add a few windows. being real decisive about this, just a demo. And here actually, just to make it look a little more interesting, I'm going to add a little partitioned out space. This small piece on the left is an end cap, which will cap off uh, any walls you don't want to terminate at another wall. Okay, so there's our very basic floor plan. I'm going to give it a simple name and click the save button and when I save you'll notice in the hierarchy on the left um, here's our save file it actually shows up as a game object so um, none of this will save until you've actually saved your scene so just an FYI be sure to save your scene regularly as you're doing this next we'll create a floor uh, I've got quite a few options here but any of the materials in the editor um, are customizable and you can actually add your own materials uh, which I'll cover more in depth in a later tutorial so you can expand this out with as many materials as you'd like I'm gonna select uh, let's use this dark wood here for our first room and maybe go ahead and grab this tile for our second room and maybe a boring gray carpet for our third room so you'll notice I'm just left clicking and dragging out the area I'd like to create the floor in. I can right click to remove a floor that's already placed. So styling determines the actual shape of the walls and there are three styles here. Um, there's a plain wall, 
there is a wall with uh, molding on the floor and crown molding, and then there is a thick siding to uh, represent sort of an exterior space. So we'll start with that. I'm going to choose the thick siding, and just like the floors, I'm going to drag select my whole floor plan so you'll see it's applied the thick siding material or, uh, style to the entire floor plan and I just find it easier to start with the exterior so you can drag it all out at once and then work on the interior spaces so I'm going to take the uh, molding interior and you'll notice I'm just selecting the interior walls now and I'm going to do the same for this room I'll give it the molding style so you can see the uh, red exterior style is still applied to the outside of the walls and then I'll just give our gray carpet room plain walls. So we're done with styling. Let's take a look at adding ceilings. Ceilings you add the exact same way you add floors and again um, these options can be customized and expanded. Let's give this guy a plain ceiling and these last two options are actually tiled ceilings so try one of these over here. Okay, save just to be safe. We get an overwrite prompt. I do want to overwrite my save. And last, let's add some materials to the walls. Once again, um, there's a nice selection here to start with, but you can customize these or create your own. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the styles, and I'm going to choose first uh, color for the exterior. So here I've just chosen light yellow and I'm going to drag the entire floor plan just so I can quickly apply it to all of the exterior and now I'm going to choose some interior materials put a dark red in here use these green stripes in here and maybe just something plain in our gray carpet plain room Okay, so now I actually have all of the basic components in place. I'm going to hit the Create button, and it's going to generate our new floor plan in our scene. So it takes a few moments while it uh, goes and builds out all of the meshes. And there it is, our new floor plan. Let's have a look. So just as an FYI, these uh, floor plans that are generated are all light map ready. So you could actually go ahead and bake a light map onto these. But otherwise, it is just about that easy. Just a few other things to note. If you look on the left here, we have a new game object named with our floor plan name and here you can look at the individual meshes that have been created and everything that shares a material is created as a single mesh so you can quickly retexture or modify or delete um, entire sections of walls here you see the interior is or the exterior is one large mesh so that'll do it for a very high level overview uh, look for some additional tutorial videos where we'll go more into depth on creating um, custom prefabs and adding floors so if you have any more questions please feel free to visit www.namelesssyntheticlifeforms.com and hopefully look for this soon in the unity asset store